five, six, seven, eight. Hey! <laughs> I'm Stacy. I'm not your girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, today in class, we talked all about the kinesthetic feeling of communication. So how we can both start on a base level of communication, and then we can one can raise the connection, or the other can raise the connection to form some type of communication. We started off talking about our basic handhold so that we have the most amount of surface area to make these changes in connection more successful. So we talked about not using the tendons in the fingers because that locks the wrists and forms that barrier where the communication can't go any further. So we want to use the muscles in our hand to create the curve. For follows, we did the jellyfish drill. Remember, your wrist needs to stay relaxed. So we have a nice little cave. Leaders, you have the towel rack. Shoot. Perfect. So the towel wrap is the length of the towel. So leaders, your fingers are popping out the other side. And my pinky knuckle is connected to his index knuckle. So from the outside, you can't see his rings. Yes, so leaders, if you're watching your videos, you want to look out for that. And as a follow, you don't see space between my knuckles here. I'm always rested at the pad of my hand. So again, that doesn't affect the connection in weight. It's just surface area. So follows, for us, we added a delay in the connection. We did an inside turn for one, two, I went second position, and three. As soon as this happens, he's continuing his lead over my face, and I'm delaying it by giving him a little bit of connection back to my right as I weight my right foot and look over to him and triple out for five and six. So from the top, with the counts, one, two, and three, four, five, and six. So our idea was to create delay to form a moment, but with, while still following the direction that he was sending me in and still staying within the time frame of the pattern that he led. Leaders, remember just not to disappear when she's, off, when she's creating this delay. So don't like say, oh, she wants something and giving her space. By doing that, you're actually giving her no more space. Yes. Yes. That's it for the leaders. Um, then for the leaders who said like um, changing like that we have our normal way of talking and the normal rate of connection and we did like a closed whip and saying okay now I just want to bring in the tension so I'm like going whoop, so I'm slightly going to the towards the inside and down to like increase the tension that the fall is feeling just to say okay this is a moment where I want to talk because I have something specific in my head. So we did a basic whip. So just so that you feel like the normal feeling in a closed, ending up in closed, we did a sugar push. And then we changed to go back into this one. And now I said, okay, I'm talking and I'm increasing the tension because I am talking. Yes, and I want you to listen. So it's just, you can do that most of the time when you do acceleration, you have to create this tension change, um, it was just for you to also realize that you can do it on normal like speed pattern, um, just increasing the tension so that you communicate that you have to, she has to listen. And follows, don't forget that your frame will slightly reciprocate. It doesn't need to become a war between who's trying to be stronger than the other person. As a follow, my frame slightly is below his intensity, just by a little bit. But you'll notice that when he gives me this increase in tension, my frame also moves outward, just slightly. Because if he increased his connection inward, and then I just relax my frame, that's not going to give us any more connection to be able to communicate with. So it follows your frame will also react when you feel that intensity increase. And I think that was it. Thanks.